Hi, um, I'm, my name's Ruth Elwood Martin. Um, I'm actually a doctor, so I come by Doc Martin or Dr. Ruth, honestly. Um, and I'm going to, I'm not uh, a cook, I don't enjoy cooking, uh, but I'm very inspired by my friend Anne Cask, who has published not one, but four, five, at least five cookbooks. She lives in Campbell River. And Campbell River is apparently the salmon city of Canada. And so um, I thought I would embrace fish cooking by trying out recipes in her book. And part of the reason for doing it is because Anne, she's very inspiring for me, but she, is, she has a big birthday this year. And she is planning to climb Kilimanjaro in support of teen diabetes. So the sale of these books is going to support teen diabetes and so if you are at all inspired by my bumbling efforts to cook this fish by the end of this video um, maybe you'd be interested in purchasing a book from Anne um, and I will try and figure out on YouTube how to put the link to her web page funding site but also to her publishing house so you can order these books. Anyway, I decided to do this first recipe in here. This is the first time I've done this, so I'm a bit, a bit nervous. Um, it's called Smoked Salmon Cheesecake. And the reason I'm doing it is um, Anne tells me it's a real crowd pleaser. And she's used it often for parties and everyone loves it. And tomorrow night I'm going to a potluck dinner. So I've offered to take this as an appetizer. So I thought I might also take my laptop tomorrow evening and film people tasting it so you actually get their, their responses to it. So the recipe says, and um, I have to preheat the oven to 300 degrees, and that is tricky. So our oven is on the blink, so I just have to trust that it's going to preheat. And then, which actually probably takes all the stress out of cooking, is by actually getting everything ready ahead of time. I've never sort of realized, appreciated that before. But I'll just show you all the things it needs. It takes half a cup of fine dry breadcrumbs, which I've got ready. And it takes three 250 grams of cream cheese at room temperature. I've got these ready, and also one at 125 grams. Basically, you know, three and a half of these size cream cheeses, sort of three of these, and then half another one. And then um, it takes four eggs, which I have ready, um, a third of a cup of whipping cream. Oh, wow, I've got that right. Third. Yes, that's right. A third of a cup of whipping cream. And three tablespoons of butter. I've got butter somewhere there. And half a cup of onion chopped. And half a green pepper, which I didn't have, but I had an orange pepper, so I did orange instead. Half of a red pepper. Half of a cup of Gruyere cheese grated. And a quarter of a cup of Parmesan cheese. And then two teaspoons of dill and pepper to taste. So I've got it all ready. And the first step is to put the oven on, which I've done, and then butter the bottom and sides of a springform pan, which I will do now. And I always have these bits of, um, you know, butter cover wraps in my fridge, and I never use them, but this is what my mother used to do, so of course I keep them in my fridge in the eventuality that I have to butter something. So that's what I'm doing now. And then I have to sprinkle breadcrumbs around until it coats this spring form pan and then throw the extra breadcrumbs away. So that's what I'll do. So every so often I have to come up to my laptop and turn it off because you don't really want to watch me buttering and sprinkling breadcrumbs around. So I'm going to turn it off and come back to you when I've done it. Hi, so I've done that now and while uh, the camera was off I beat together the cream cheese, the whipping cream and the eggs until smooth. And now um, I'm going to take three tablespoons of butter and fry the onions till soft. Three tablespoons. Fry the onions till soft. And I should have mentioned that this uh, Anne's cookbooks. What she did was, I think, ask chefs in the in the vicinity of Canberra River to contribute their favorite fish recipes. So this book is salmon recipes contributed by chefs in the neighborhood. So this is um, Chef Scott Hamill from the um, 
from a lodge, and I apologize, I might not be saying this right, but it looks like Sai Kwai Luton Lodge. So this is his uh, recipe that he contributed to Anne Cask's um, cookbook. So, just, so I realized that I'm not actually familiar with this movie recording uh, software on the computer, so I seem to have lost the first part of this movie. So I'm going to have to get some techno help, or I can figure it out myself, maybe, how to string these movies together. Because every time I pause the, the laptop movie thing, it, it disappears. So. We'll see how, it, how this does. Yeah, okay, so what you do is you fry these onions till soft, and then you add the peppers for a bit, uh, and you saute everything until just tender, um, and then you put everything in, in with the cream cheese, which I've whipped, I'll show it to you. This is how it looks. It's all cream cheese and the eggs and the whipping cream. Uh, I'm sure this is going to have a lot of calories, but I'm sure it tastes very good. So you, once the vegetables are fried, you add the, the salmon and the cheese and some pepper and dill in here and mix it all together. So what I'll do is um, turn off the... Must be hungry. So I'm going to turn off the movie again because I don't think you need to watch me do this. And I'll I'll turn it back on when I'm at the final stages of putting it in the oven. So uh, see you in a bit. So this is uh, where I'm at now. So basically, I put the onion, the fried onions and peppers in with the cream cheese and also everything else. So you know the smoked salmon and the Gruyere cheese, and the Parmesan cheese, and the pepper, and the dill, and folded it together. So this is what it looks like now. And now it says I put it in the springform pan, I shake to level it out, and then I have to put it in a container that is slightly larger than this, which I didn't really have, so I've got a much larger container, and, and surround it by boiling water um, up to two inches. So, and then you put it in the oven for an hour and a half. And then you, leave, you turn off the oven and leave it in the oven for another hour. So you don't want to uh, wait too late in the evening to do this, otherwise you're not going to get to bed. And then you, you keep, then you refrigerate it until you're ready to serve it, and then you serve it at room temperature. So that's what you do. Actually, it's quite easy. Mm. It tastes pretty good. And um, yeah, so I think you know the work is in getting the stuff ready, but it actually seems quite a, a, a straightforward recipe. Even I seem to hopefully have done this without any glitches. Okay, and it's at a shake level. Shaking that much, and then I've got it. I've got another container which you see is quite a bit bigger. I wasn't sure quite how it would work. And now I'll put my boiling water around it. Try not to get it in the thing, but around it only. And it has to come up two inches. Hopefully, I've got enough here. For an hour and a half. So the next time you'll see this, hopefully it'll be at um, the potluck supper tomorrow night, and I'll take it out of the springform pan and serve it, and I'll film people's reactions with their consent, of course, if they agree to that. So thank you very much for listening, and I do hope this encourages you to think about purchasing this book and trying these recipes and. Um, and the, as I say, the, per, the proceeds from the sale of these books will support Anne Cask and her Team Canada venture. Thank you very much.
Right, so now I'm going to get this set. This is what it looks like. I took it out of the oven. I think I might have overdone it a bit, but never mind. We won't, we won't apologise. It's a bit brown looking. I forgot the timer. So, anyway, now I'm going to get it out of the, the spring corn flan. <laughs> and then we're going to try it. People are laughing at me. And then they're going to buy the cookbooks. Because we know how much it loves to cook. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it really, it really... Isn't she stunning? It's... <laughs> no, no, she is. Filmmaker. Extraordinary. Yeah, I can't keep up with her. <laughs> She's just trying to get another award. I know. Uh, cook for Bet Cook of the Year or something. All right, guys, there you go. This is so the salmon, smoked salmon cheesecake. And you must have sliced it and put on crackers. I should have brought the crackers. Bigger crackers are better, I think. Just put this back a bit so you can see. Well, it slices nicely. Thank you, Holly, for being. We're going to get your reaction. Do you like this or not? Is it a good one? Do you need a bigger knife? Yes. It's a bit of a mess. I mean, not the cheesecake, it's just that it needs a. It might need to be plates or something. We need a serviette. So we've got crumbs. We've got crumbs. No, I'm Alright. Tell, tell the audience how it is. Is it, um, you know what I'm putting it on It's what sort of juice is it? It's a cheese cake. It's got smoked salmon. It's very, very tasty. Off the top, it's tasty. Um, it's maybe a bit overdone. No, it's, it's maybe a bit too salmon. Cool. Yeah. Salmon. It's too cool. oh, it should be, it should be cool. such a high temperature, and I've just taken it out of the. It's very good. Yeah. Um, I'd ask for more smoked salmon in it, but I'm not quite sure that's necessary. Oh, we gone? Or just. Where are you? Oh. Ruth, can I get you a glass of wine? The wine sounds good. And mm. so can you tell us, Fred, how you're thinking about it? What's it like? The consistency. Is lovely, exquisite consistency, flavor, consistency. Nine point five out of ten. Texture, I mean. Oh, it's a, it's a it's texture is wonderful. It's a lovely, lovely texture. Light. Oh, you're welcome. Yes, it's light. Yeah, you have a little more salmon for my liking. Yeah, which was my. Yes, I agree, Holly. Is it? My oven is very cool. It tastes more like. It was cheese in the oven that works. I don't think it's overcooked. My oven has been working uh, um, almost. I think especially with these these wow. oaty crackers, the combination of consistency yeah. is wonderful. These are uh, gluten free crackers. gluten free crackers, which I think highlight. Yes. Highlight the consistency of the creation. Michael, would you like to come and try this as smoke? Yeah. And you're being filmed as you comment. And a cheesecake appetizer. And I'm promoting these cookbooks. And if you'd like to support Teen, teen Diabetes. Um, so all the sale of these books are not these ones. You have to go online and buy them. But I, can, I can send you the. I can send you the link. Send me the link. Yeah. Thank you. This is. I think I might add, was there black pepper in here? It said to taste. I think I might add a little yeah, more, a little more black pepper. Um, there you go. Mm, yeah, texture is very nice. Martha, would you like to try this? Yeah, I would. Pick up a... Okay. Thank you. You want to switch your camera off while we're showing people? <laughs> You're being filled with all your comments, so just well, be aware. That is nice. So it has a cream oh, cheese, like lots of cream cheese, but it takes on us, and then eggs, yeah, and looking mm. mm. Come, try. Oh, I'm sure. Sure. I'm I'm supposed to, I've, I've okay, read later. Well, you fly. You fly to Chicago. It's very nice. The smoked salmon is just great.
because you know it's not too strong, but, it's, but it's, there's enough. Yeah. I could take a little more smoked salmon. Yeah. Yeah. It makes more cool. yeah. and more pepper. Yeah. It was a very expensive mm. one. It was one of the. It says to taste, right? Yeah. Yes. Yes. How much smoked salmon is in it? Two fifty grams. And lovely. It's really easy. Isn't the texture nice? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like the flavor, I think I'd be quite happy to have that for the vegetarian lunch and put on too. Well, thank you. But your cat, right now, back. Can I have some more? My family always calls me. I thought you were going to be the host. So, um, you're going to be the host. Yeah, I'm going to be the host. That's your 10 pressure, Fred. I'm okay. I have no shame. I'm going to be the host. How's the basketball? Is the basketball tonight? Hey, yeah. Are you watching that? Are you going to watch me? <laughs> <laughs> Julie? Mm -hmm. we like to watch. I think we're okay. Okay. Oh, okay. I think it's John 6 7. I'm going to be over there. Okay, I'm going to turn off the movie. Okay, you got the response. Let's keep on our own things. Good. Good. It's delicious. Good. Julie's come back from home. Martha's going to This is my third. Bit. I think Ruth ought to quit her day job and just focus on it. Thank you. You can. Julie has a book. Because I heard it was in Vancouver because you're taking your car. So you can buy a decent booze. This is for animals. Oh, I've got to look. Yeah, how is it? It's like for animals. It's great. Oh, I'm sorry. 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 Yeah, you're on the panel, sir. You're honest opinion. You got my honest opinion just last night. That's where you turn the camera. Yeah, the camera is on right now. Even though it doesn't look like so this is salmon cheesecake. You want more smoked salmon cheesecake? Smoked salmon cheesecake. Just gonna open this uh, can breathe. So, I'm gonna salad one side, and the other side. Did it go? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. I said this was very good. Very we're we're, we're, we're being is, filmed right now. This is really good praise from my husband. He was very honest about his opinions on it. Is this a salmon pickup? I didn't know this. I'm not sure. It's a salmon pickup. Oh, sorry. Your wife's got it in her hand. Does a salmon pickup? Yes, it does. Yes, it does. No thanks. It's very good, isn't it? So we can't claim to not cook anymore. Well, I've got one recipe down on this. Great, great. Right. Yeah, this would give you dinner. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's got everything in it. Oh, yeah.